Hi everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Sophie and I'm an artist based in Melbourne. I'm working on a series called The Collectors of Important Things for my 2023 calendar, which will be coming out soon. This is the sixth illustration in the series and our collector today is the Collector of Clouds. And I've written a little something to go along with the illustration and here it is. When communicating is hard, when expressing themselves feels heavy, the little collected clouds act as their voice, so to speak. They rumble and rage or grow soggy with rain, sparkle and glow, or they burst into a rainbow. Each thing the clouds do, if you pay close attention, act as a voice when their voice may feel lost. And that's why they collect the clouds, because they make them feel heard. This little piece started as a little bit of a struggle for me. I actually started a whole nother concept and got about halfway through and just wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't liking it. I didn't, it didn't feel good. Um, and I just called it, I was like, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna have a think and I'm going to make another piece. I might come back to the piece that I started originally, but um, for the time being, I needed to do a different illustration. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes I push through. Sometimes I stop and start again. And this was one of those times. It was a bit of a struggle day for me. I've been feeling a little burnt out. I had a really big morning. So to come home and then to start from scratch uh, was a little hard but I really like the piece that came out. I enjoyed the colors, the really soft pinks and purples with hints of that minty green and, and like an acid yellow. I really relate with this character, this character who finds it hard to articulate themselves, to communicate their true feelings. I've definitely been in a place in my life where I have felt that way on a regular basis and it's been kind of cathartic to give that time of my life a little bit of a voice, a little bit of a stage, so to speak. So yeah, I really relate to this character in that way. But instead of little clouds expressing the way that I feel and my voice, um, I use drawing and painting and sketching. So it's sort of a bit of a inception moment maybe. <laughs> little clouds, they also kind of symbolize like thoughts and ideas and memories. So collecting them and bottling them up or releasing them free into the wild again is a really nice metaphor for memory that maybe you want to keep close or maybe you're ready to release yeah yeah let me know if uh, if this character if this story is something that resonates with you
As for materials that I use, I used uh, acrylic gouache for this piece um, and the brand I use is Holbein and also Turner acrylic gouache. I laid down the base in a really wishy-washy, almost watercolour-esque application and then I was able to build up my layers as I went. And that's the good thing about acrylic gouache is that you can layer beautifully without anything reactivating the way watercolour paint does or the way normal gouache does. My brush is a Cintoretto, which is an Italian brand brush, size 1. And the paper I used is a 300 GSM cold press paper, 50% cotton. All the specs <laughs> by the brand Etcher Lab. So this illustration marks the halfway point of this Collectors of Important Things series, which is very exciting. And I really hope you've been enjoying them. Please let me know which your favorite one is so far. Thank you so much for watching and definitely go check out the other ones in the series if you haven't already. And keep your eyes peeled for the next ones coming up. Can't wait to show you what's in the works. Big hugs to you all and I will see you next time. Bye.